All right, so while we wait for the extra bushing that I'm missing for the front three link on the Grand Cherokee, um, they accidentally sent us an extra flex joint instead of one of the rubber bushings. Not a huge deal. The rubber one will ship out Monday, which is tomorrow. So sometime mid this week, we'll probably get that rubber bushing and wrap up the front. Then we'll go ahead and do the four link. I might go ahead and mess around with that first before we get the front done, just because we're waiting on parts. But in the meantime, I'm going to install these JKS quick disconnects. These should be relatively simple to install. However, I'm not sure on the final length of these yet since the Jeep's not on the ground under its own weight. So we're gonna extend these out and then I'll adjust them once we have the full lift installed and everything like that. Figured we'd knock this out right now, get it out of the way. So let's go ahead and go over everything they send you in the kit. So you have the actual links for your sway bar. You have two of them, greasable, all that stuff. You have the pins for both sides of them. These are actually the same pins I use on my Wrangler, so I'll show you what that looks like and how that works right here. Or similar pins, just pop them out, sway bar pops off, now you're disconnected on the front. So once you're disconnected, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I am going to install some kind of pin up here, same on that Jeep, to pop these up and hold them while you're off-road and while you're doing everything. But these are super simple to use and super helpful offer to disconnect quickly. So let's go ahead and install them on the Wrangler. So for the first step, we're gonna have to determine whether we're using the large ones or small ones, top and bottom, we'll figure that out. Then we'll install these, bolt these up. So let's go ahead and I'll see you guys at the Jeep. So your first step is gonna be removing the original link for your soy bars. And there is actually a certain angle you're going to want to set this at when the Jeep's at ride height on the lift and tires and everything like that. So we're going to have to obviously adjust this once we get everything set up. But step one, you're going to want to remove the original sway bar link. Once that's done, you'll be able to go ahead and install the pins for the upper and lower disconnects. So these two here, small ones will be for the top, large ones will be for the bottom. So let's go ahead and grab one of each and we'll grab one of the disconnects and two pins and we'll head over there and get them installed. All right, so I have everything laid out right here. So the larger one with the threads that don't go all the way up will go in the bottom here. If I can, there you go. So it'll go in the bottom. That piece will thread on the end there. And then the same for the top, except you'll use a smaller one. One thing to note is you are going to want to use some kind of Loctite on this, so that way these don't come off. And you're also going to need a small screwdriver. You're going to put the screwdriver through this hole right here, and that'll allow you to tighten everything down correctly. So I'm going to go ahead, put some Loctite on these. We'll thread them in, tighten them all up. Then we'll adjust our disconnects here um, to what we think should be the correct size. Obviously, like I said earlier, we're going to have to adjust these once the full lift's installed on the Jeep. But let's go ahead and get this stuff um, bolted on right here. So the bottom one is started. This is where your screwdriver will come in. You'll put it through the hole on there and it'll actually wedge against the steering or the spring perch, which will allow you to put a wrench or whatever you wanna use on the backside and tighten that up nice and tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera since it's extremely hard to do with one hand. And I'll catch up with you guys when we get this done. All right, so now that that's super tight, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on the top with the smaller of the two. And remember to put Loctite on both of these. You don't want these going anywhere. All right, guys, so now that we have the upper and lower quick disconnects installed, we're ready to install the actual link itself. So if you were installing this on your Jeep, one thing to note is you're gonna want this to be at about a 30 degree angle. The range is anywhere from 25 to 35 degrees, but 30 is what you're gonna exactly want on your sway bar. So since ours isn't obviously lifted yet or ready to go, we're still waiting on parts. I'm gonna go ahead and just extend these most of the way out, install them, and we'll come back through once the lift's on and it's on the ground and adjust it to where this bar right here will be at a 30 degree angle. So the links itself are super simple to adjust. You just screw one end of it similar to like your uh, tie rod ends and stuff like that. You'll just screw one side of it, loosen it or tighten it. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up off camera and then I'll show you guys how to install it. So now that I have this loosened, this will be your locking nut here. You're gonna wanna go ahead and make this go all the way to the bottom there and seat tight on the lower part of this. 
what that's going to do is lock it in place so it can't extend or anything like that anymore once that's there i'm going to go ahead i'll take a wrench tighten that off finally and then we'll get it thrown up onto the jeep once your link is correctly adjusted you're going to want to go ahead and just slide the little joints onto the studs that you've installed once those are on keep in mind that's not adjusted correctly at all like even slightly i have no idea what the correct adjustment's going to have to be until the lift's on once those are on though you'll take the pins that they send with it and you'll go ahead and pop these open stick it through the holes close it shut and you're good repeat the process on top close it shut and your disconnects are installed then to take them off all you're going to do pop the pin on either side and pull this out my plan for what i'm going to do here is i plan on let me get this back in there disconnecting from the bottom similar to how we do it on the wrangler popping this off then getting another one of these studs here and mounting it up here somewhere to where i can tuck this up and it won't hit anything it won't be in the way then once you're done off-roading pop it off that one put it back on here take your pin close it shut once you're done that you just repeat the process on the other side and that's how you install the jks quick disconnects on a jeep grand cherokee